Welcome back, everybody, to the Neon Kitchen, episode 15. My name is Chef Mark Segovia with Segovia's Catering. We're here in this beautiful kitchen over here at the Neon Exchange. We have Tony Bowles behind the Hello, camera. Everyone. How you doing, Tony? Always rocking it out there. Thank you, Tony, for all your hard work. No uh, we are going to be making something special today, you guys. We, I think we've done this before. We're bringing it back because a lot of people ask for it. People love chimichurri. We're going to be doing a cilantro chimichurri, a little bit of a skirt steak. And I got some broccolini. I also brought some asparagus. Wasn't on the list. Sorry, Tony. Uh, <laughs> we're going to char that up in the oven, and we're going to have a wonderful meal today. But as always, you guys, we have a wonderful guest, someone local, running a local nonprofit here in Gilroy. We have, they're from 6th Street Studios and Art Center. We have Abby Bencourt. Hello, Abby, 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 how you doing? Hi, how you doing? You're matching, you're matching, girl. Ready you're ready to, to rock, I'm telling you. It's very artistic. <laughs> yes. So Hi. tell us more about 6th Street and yeah. what that is. Um, so 6th Street Studios and Art Center is right over here on 6th Street, 64 West 6th Street. Um, we are a local arts nonprofit. We have eight affordable studio rentals for artists, an artist in residency program, and we're starting classes this year. Nice, Hi. nice. I can see a nice food art happening there. Yeah. I'm telling you, I could do a class for you guys there, food art. We would love that. I'm telling you, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. That'll be really good. Is that a knife on your tattoo? That's uh, a jeweler saw. Oh, okay. I thought it was so, a knife. Because okay. Abby, oh. so Abby is... <laughs> Also, I'm also a jeweler and a professional sculptural artist. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Wedding ring. Do you do wedding rings? I can. There you go. I need one. <laughs> She's going to commission one. Tell, <laughs> hopefully, I get a deal. We had her on the show, you guys. Uh, bring it in. We're going to okay. show you some of the product here. We have broccolini. Broccolini was actually first brought to America and grown here in uh, Santa Cruz area oh, yeah. uh, by, uh, what was it, uh, Man Packaging. They're the ones who brought it here. To America, and they're the first ones to have it. Was here in, right here in the Central Valley, oh, wow. which is amazing. And it's a mix of Gailon broccoli, which is going to be more of the Asian broccoli, and regular broccoli. So it's going to be a mix of it. People think, oh, it's a baby gar um, broccoli. No, it's not. It just grows that way. It grows. Have you ever seen Gailon? It's a lot longer. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the Asian uh, broccoli. Mm -hmm. uh, so what they did is, is mix them up, and this is what we come up with broccolini. Oh, wow. Amazing. I love it. We'll be charring it today. I got some Meyer lemons, you guys. Cilantro, who doesn't love cilantro? Remember, cilantro, you can eat the stem on these guys. Okay. While we chop it up, make our chimichurri, you'll see what's up. I did forget one thing that I won't do at it, you guys. I'm sorry, I never forget anything. What the <laughs> wow. Okay, it's happened before, one time, maybe twice. But chili flakes, you guys, chili flakes. At home, make sure you put it into your chimichurri, and we'll talk about it as we go. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do at this time is we're going to do it. We're going to get this nice and hot, of course, because it's our... Our nice big old big daddy cast iron. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get it nice and hot, you guys. You ever work with cast iron at all? I love cast iron. Oh, yeah. My house is full of it. That's is just, it for real? That's a heck of a pan, though. Yeah, this one is uh, it weighs uh, so when you're cooking, you're also lifting weights with this guy. <laughs> it's a it workout, it's yeah. heavy, it's heavy. So I'm gonna put it right there like a medium, uh, medium high. Just let it go for a little bit. We want it to get a little smoky. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Not too smoky. Okay, I'm telling you, first thing we're gonna do is. Actually, let's get this uh, broccolini in here. Do you want to get some gloves on? Or we'll sure. We're going to have her start mixing over here, you guys. The sous chef. Yeah, sous chef. There we go. So we're going to mix up the broccolini and zucchini. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry. Broccolini and asparagi. Asplural? Okay. <laughs> I know, right? Asparagus. I, I put it in nice guy. guy. Asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do it. Like, this one's a little big. I just cut it, cut it up there. Like, this one, see how big it is? Uh-huh. There we go. And you, I know you mentioned your, your boyfriend's a vegetarian. Do you guys eat a lot yes. of broccolini? Yes, we eat a lot of broccolini, a lot of veggies, a lot of pasta. So I'm good, super good. excited for some red meat today. This is extra virgin <laughs> olive oil right here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to put a little bit there, you guys. Just okay. a little bit. If you can mix it up for me after. Sure. Do you have to worry about the leaves on here? No, not at no, all. So that's much. extra. That's uh, all vitamins. A little bit of salt and pepper. Bring it from the top. Bring it from the top. What is that for, Tony? So you can spread it evenly. There you I go. I learned that on this show. From the top. And then we're going to do asparag asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> and I cut off the bottom a little bit because those are the hard part, not edible. And always have your bowl here, you guys, for a little garbage. Look at this. Oh. You don't have garbage everywhere. Messy workplace, messy mind. That's the way I was taught. So let's do this one also right there. Okay. And we'll keep them you separated. You want to mix them all? Keep, no, them we'll keep them separated. And after that, we can make a whole family and mix it all up together. Okay. Here you go. So you do a lot of cooking at the house? Yeah, I do. Yeah, we um, recently did like cauliflower steaks. Oh, nice. With chimichurri yeah. too. You can't go wrong there. You cannot go yeah. wrong. 
So tell me about Six Feet. What's going on over there? What do you guys got going on? Um, so we started at the beginning of last year and we went through some renovations. So we're slowly getting started. I like started. that building. I love it's that It's a beautiful building. building. Yeah. So it's the old Gilroy Dispatch and we have a nice big front window, mm -hmm. which works for our exhibition space, which is great. Um, but what we're most excited about right now is we're starting some educational classes and I'll actually be an educator teaching nice. some of them. Yeah. And what class are you going to teach? So I'm going to teach a uh, pour painting. Nice. And um, some enamel jewelry, uh -huh. which is really fun. You put things in a kiln at like 1,500 degrees, Ooh, which is probably yeah. hotter than what you've worked with. Right? Yeah, I think the highest I've ever cooked was like 900 degrees with a wok. Oh. Yeah, not, well, that's probably the highest. That makes but sense. 1,500, oof. Yeah, that exactly. that. <laughs> We should take a steak there and just try it. <laughs> just put it in there. <laughs> take like a second. Uh. So we got the oven at 420, you guys. Uh -huh. The oven's at 420. Okay. And you're looking these to get nice and dark. Okay. Nice and GPD, yeah. golden brown, and delicious. delicious. That's what we're looking for. Set it yeah. and forget it. So we're going to start our chimichurri as we go, you guys. Uh, let's, let's, let's find out more. What's going on over there? Talk to us. Um, so I'm also really excited about our artists in residency program. Mm -hmm. So we have a special space in the front of the building that we, uh, different artists from around the world apply to. And if you're selected, you get to use the space for free for up to three months. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we're hoping that that's a way to introduce, like, new art forms and new people mm -hmm. to Gilroy. So many talented of... people out there. So many. So, so, so many. So. That is super sweet. And for yeah. those of us who don't know what an artist in residency, like, what does that look like and what does that mean? Um, so, there's artists in residencies all over. Mm -hmm. One really popular one is through Recology, mm -hmm. where an artist will actually go to the dump and use recycled, refound materials to make oh, wow. art. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, so artists in residency, it's, you know, essentially a way to bring an artist into a new environment to propel their own work forward and also to have them interact with, like, the local arts community, too, so then we're all enriching each other, right? That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. that is super amazing. So here we go, you guys. We're going to start the chimichurri real quick. You know, you, you've had chimichurri, you said, right? On uh, your yeah. eggplant? I mean, on your cauliflower. So all we did, get this ready for cutting. I should have showed you guys. I can show you guys after. There we go, look. Nice. It's already diced up, nice and easy. Look Are we going to cry? Hopefully not. Hopefully <laughs> not. Usually I do, but uh, people always say, that some, put them in water before, put bread in your I say, I don't got time for all that. If I cry, I cry. Sometimes I'll do it on the stove with the fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that smart. Helps. That's yeah. smart. That's very smart. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. And this knife is nice and sharp. The other thing I heard that you got going on is a huge mural uh, that recently, uh, I don't know if they're going to be working on it as soon. Is it Armando? Yeah, it's yeah, Armando yeah. Franco, I yeah. believe his last name. Yeah, and he's awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. And we're partnering with SVC Creates, mm -hmm. um, which is helping to fund this. But yeah, on the side of our building, Armando's going to work with different youth groups mm -hmm. to organize this awesome mural, which I'm super excited about. We need some color over there. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And we'll be sending, actually, we're going to be talking and sending some uh, some, some kids that way to help out. Oh, good. It's going to be nice. Super good. So here we go. Red onion. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. A lot of garlic. Let me get a spoon real quick. A lot of garlic. Lot, yeah. Yeah. That's the, the measurement is a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a tablespoon, teaspoon, it's a lot of garlic. So is there a difference between this kind of garlic and raw garlic? Does this is raw garlic. This is uh, it's just pretty minced. It's just ready minced for you. Okay. And a feel free thing. to, yeah, feel free. Let's put all of it. Yeah, yeah all of it. Come on. There we go. Okay, I'm mix it up. Uh, not yet. Now you're going to put a little bit of okay. olive oil. I'm excited. Boom. And then, uh, actually, a little more. Then we're going to put this in red wine vinegar. And do it to your tasting. Some people like it uh, more vinegar taste, less olive oil. Always do it to your yeah. whatever your palate likes, you guys. Whatever you like. I love vinegar. Oh, I, I do I'll too. Take shots I do too. I <laughs> That's good vinegar. for you. It's a cleanser. Yeah, like apple cider vinegar, right? There we go. Put, put a little lemon in it. You want to squeeze some of those in there for me? Yeah. Do you Abby worry about the is no stranger. Oh, right here, go like you're no stranger to working with your hands. You're oh, very comfortable. Like I can see. Oh. There we go. Okay, smart. My grandma used to have these little nets yeah. that would go on top of the lemon. <laughs> I can't find those anymore. There we go. A little bit of lemon there. Let's do these two also. Okay, that's a lot of lemon. And we're going to have her chop up to see how their knife skills are like. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I had a hammer, <laughs> then we'd be real looking. Fun fact. Look at this. Hey, I have a fun fact for you. Abby was a model in our last year's ah, show. Were you? Yes, she was. My mom was there. She I just wanted to try on a frock, <laughs> wedding dress. My mom was there. Your mom was there? Yes. She was, of course, she was an older lady there. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. 
so she's gonna get me in trouble now. Yeah, Joy makes a set for my daughter oh, over here. You want to do this real quick? Chop, sure. Just chop it up, and you'll cut it all the way to about right here. Okay, just kind of chop it all finely chop. Look at, whoa, cut doing. it out. Good job, Abby. Someone's gonna take my job. You get out of here. Let me go. <laughs> do you need it finer than that? No, a little bit, but we'll get uh, there. Okay. You go. There we She's go. She's a great sous chef, huh? She's awesome. She's <gasps> killing it over here. I can't wait to take a class from you, Abs. I'm excited. We're gonna have yeah, fun. Yeah. We're gonna do an adult pour painting class, so we'll have like wine tasting. Nice. So it's gonna be super fun. And then the other thing is uh, the art walks. Are they resuming uh, March? Yeah, okay. March. Yeah. I believe the third Friday of March. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So Good job. Give her a hand. Give her a hand. Give her a hand. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, the art, oh, walk, the, the art walks are were cool. I like yeah. those. There we go. Yeah. Put that in there. I do want to mention that I don't run Six Street Studios and Art Center. That um, goes to Emily McEwen Upright, who's the founder. Let's give her a shout out. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> but I'm super happy to meet Emily and um, happy to help where I can. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, you guys just uh, recently had, uh, was it the high school kids? High school yes. artwork there? Yeah, we had yeah. a high school class. How did that go? It was it was awesome, and was during the there. opening, the uh, the students came to see their stuff hanging up. And personally, I think that's such a rewarding experience. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have a lot of pride. Definitely. Something you made, like same thing when you present your food, right? Like that's uniquely yours. That was special. Same for thing them. with art. Special. Yeah, so I think that was really exciting. So we definitely want to do more of that. So we're gonna taste this and see what uh, we think and what's missing. This okay. Figure it out. I like it when it's so puckery. It like affects. That's what the I like. That's what I like. <laughs> so do you that's... blend it up anymore? No. Usually like that. Like, and the only thing that's missing is the chili flakes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What does it need? What does it need? More salt, pepper, mm. lemon, oil. Mmm. Oh. That's good. Tony. Oh, thank you. What do you think? What do I need? Master chef. I think it's a very light olive oil and salt and pepper. There we go. Let's get another spoon and mix that up. We don't double dip here. I know, right? <laughs> what kind of salt is this? That's going to be kosher salt. Kosher salt. Okay. There we go. Nice. There we go. Look at that, you guys. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, like that. Beautiful. It's missing the red pepper flakes. Mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> We're going to get it cleaned up and we'll be right back. Check it out. Bring it in. This is our wonderful chimichurri here that Abby made. She chopped that all up. Look at her. Nice. There you go. What was missing? What was missing? Chili flakes. Red pepper flakes. I'm gonna get beat up later on for that. I already know it, you guys. <laughs> so now we're gonna get to a skirt steak. Can you grab me a skirt steak? Yeah. Uh, definitely. A lot of people always ask, well, where, where does skirt steak come from? What is it? What part of, mm -hmm. you know, what part of the cow does it come from? So you always think of a skirt, mm -hmm. cow skirt. It's always gonna be right there. On the side of the Yeah, almost by the, almost by the flanks. Okay. Uh, but it's more on the side. So um, back in the day, they used to really, because uh, it was this real big, bigger piece, they would, uh, like the brisket, they used to throw the stuff away. Really? And chop it up and throw it away. Then actually, this is what they make fajitas out of. Yeah, tacos. Like, right? Yeah, tacos, fajitas. Yeah. But now it's sort of like brisket. Back in the day, they would actually throw it away, and then the cowboys figured out well, if we cook it for like six, seven hours, it gets tender. Mm -hmm. But this one, they figured out one well, is slice it down, mm -hmm. bring it down. That's why it's nice and tender now. So what we're gonna do now is just get some salt and pepper on there and okay. a little bit of oil. So why I go like why I I'm gonna throw you want to mix it up with your hands? Sure. I'm gonna throw some oil on there. Just start mixing it up. There we go. Look at that. And I know you said you wanted some red meat today, so. I did. There you go. What's your boyfriend's name? Alex. Alex, come on, Alex. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> the salt and pepper there. That's it. I thought we were going to do is salt and pepper on this guy. That's, we're not going to put no garlic. Okay. We're not going to put nothing else on here, no herb, because we're doing the chimichurri on top of it. Okay. It's uh, funny, when we go to restaurants together, I always order the steak and he orders the vegetarian meal and the waiter assumes brings it, that brings he it gets to you, the yeah. steak. I'm like, turn that around. There we go. Let's bring it over here. And we're going to get this cooking. It's really hot, you guys. Okay, it's like medium high. Yeah, we're going to put it on high because we want it hot. Let's get a little bit of oil. The extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, real hot. Yeah, because this is real thin. Yeah. You want it to cook really fast. Like a minute on each side, right? Even probably less than that because okay. there's a thing called uh, carryover cooking. Get a quick sear. Mm -hmm. We're going to put it on here after. Look at that. Woo! Oh, that is quick. Quick, really That's quick. Dirty. 
really quick. You want it to be like a little round? We're trying, we're little... gonna try, we're gonna try for that. That's why you want it so high. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cause this is not a thick steak where you do like cook a knife, take a couple, yeah, you know, you 30 minutes to cook. Yeah, this is really quick. So there, boom, flip it, mm. and flip it. I want that cast iron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and while that's going, let's add some more, let's do all this stuff. So as we're doing this, Abby, we're talking more about the system. We're curious about the, all the, you know, the art stuff going on there, the classes. Yeah. Uh, how would we, hold you guys? exactly. How, let's say I wanted to sign up for a class or yeah. know who's teaching. Um, how would I do that? So the best way for uh, to gather information is to go to our website, which is sixstreetartstudios.org. Okay. And then if you have any inquiries, you can do info at sixstreetartstudios.org. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then we have a calendar on there with all of our events. We also um, showcase our current artists that are renting studio space. Uh huh. Yeah. And you also are very, you are extremely active on social media. So if anyone's on social media, it seems like you are very um, regular at posting the activities. Yeah, exactly. So follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and you can find those through our website. Okay. Yeah. That was it? You took them off? Yeah, these are done. Okay. Look at this. That's a little bit of red. Oh, okay. I'll show you guys right there. It's probably about a medium right now. Medium, almost a medium well, but it's still cooking right here. Oh, right okay. Now. It's still going to be cooking so right there. you want to slow it down or no? No, no. What, what, what you're going to do is pull it out. Okay. A little red, and then I'll finish cooking right here. But you'll see it. Give it a like. Right now, it's still cooking. That heat's still in there, so it's still turning the proteins. The protein is still changing them. Yeah. So you'll see it here in a little bit. We're looking, and we're looking for about a medium well. Almost. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Yeah, well, that, you know that'd be cool over there. Doing a nice, uh, a little uh, demo that maybe a food art. Definitely, I think so. Have a big old board and just do something crazy on it. Yeah. So you mean like, uh, like plate setting? Uh, we could do plate setting or just a big old. Uh, um, what do you call charcuterie? it? Charcuterie? We could do a charcuterie, a, a beautiful charcuterie board. I could do one that's really artistic. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, there's so many, so many things we yeah. could do. We had uh, Whitney Patello here, mm -hmm. and we, she uh, we gave her a bunch of different colors to decorate the plate with. The sauces? Oh, really? Yeah, it was, it was cool. absolutely really gorgeous. Cool. It was yeah. cool. So there's so many different things we could do, you yeah. know what I mean? With, you have edible florals, and then you have sauces and different colors. And yeah. yeah. Art and food, really. Oh, together. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love to bake, so I want to do like a cookie decorating, I think. That's Ooh, nice. Fun, so. we're, um, we are actually going to have one in the room for, um, I forgot, I'll have to give you the information, but a local baker is cooking up the Easter one. Oh, yeah. okay. You see this right here? That yeah. little blood coming out right there? Nice. That's medium rare. When you see blood coming up, that's medium rare. Okay. So you want to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, definitely. Right? See the little ones right here? I'll pull out. Yeah. Now look over here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Cook it, cook it a little more. Down a little bit. How do you like your steak? Medium rare. Medium rare, nice. Let me look. I'm going to take it off here. I'm going to turn it off now. Oh. Look at that Smells so good in here. Yeah. Do you want to check these guys for me? Yeah. How they look there? Ooh. Oh, nice. It's quite okay. a pull. I'm going to turn that off. Okay. So right here we have the beautiful pink. <laughs> And you can put it right on the cutting board behind you. On the cutting board? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Open. She's hired. <laughs> Sorry, Emily, we're going to take her. <laughs> there we are. There we go. Look at this. Awesome. Look at this, you guys. Let's put this right here. Look at this. How amazing it looks. Woo! That was so quick. Don't forget the juice. we got to get that juice. Oh, yeah. So as we take a look at this, this is real hot. Be careful here. We have this. These are nice and cooked. They're not burned. Oh, uh, charred, probably cook, I would cook them a little more, but these are good right now. We'll get them down here. Yeah. You can get them a little darker if you want, but we'll break them down. Okay. Can you broil them? You can broil Yeah, you can broil them probably like at 500. Oh, wow. Yeah, 500 on. just to get them real quick. Okay. Uh, this one's nice to go. We have our chimichurri. We're going to get ready, clean up, and come back and plate this you guys with all these wonderful colors. Come take a look. We've got our wonderful uh, broccolini there, a little charred there, which is good. That's what you Beautiful. want. That's the flavor. Uh, asparagus or asparagus guy. <laughs> we have our, our steak seared right here. Nice, perfect. Uh, we have our chimichurri right over here. Let me get this out of the way here. 
As I uh, designed this plate, I would like to put a little artistic twist to it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of an artist, you know, talk to us about how, how did you get into what you do? How'd you do that? Yeah, so when I uh, grew up with my mom, um, we did a lot of crafts together. So I've been always working with my hands and like that tactile experience. And then when I grew older, I was trying to make all these other careers happen, like science, but it always felt like I was kind of swimming against the current. So eventually I kind of just resolved to art and just kind of let it happen naturally. And then as soon as I uh, went to San Jose State and was in the art program, it just was magical, it was fireworks. And art's been really huge for me because it really helps with my, my identity and my self-worth, mm -hmm. you know? It's helped me find myself. Oh man, sister, this whole building <laughs> let me find myself. Yeah, <laughs> I can speak to that, so I get it. And you're I had no so, idea so that art was in my you do jewelry or what else? Yeah, so I started out as like a painter, and then as soon as I touched metal and three-dimensional mm -hmm. things, it was like fireworks, right? Like I can't turn the ideas off. Um, so I started with small-scale jewelry fabrication and casting, and then I started at the foundry at San Jose State where I got into like large brass pours. Not brass, sorry, bronze. Bronze. <laughs> yeah, I was like brass. No, but um, bronze pouring, so it's really fun. You feel like a god when you <laughs> play with molten metal, that's for sure. That is so cool. Yeah. Take a look at this. Ooh. Wait, did you sear the lemon in the pan? I did, a little Ooh, bit there. Okay. There's always my little things we that's do with pretty. it. That looks amazing. Yes, it does. And guess what? You get to try this. <gasps> Ooh, I'm first. I'm telling you. So we're gonna. This is bring it in, you guys. We're gonna look at our wonderful little uh, broccolini here. And I always challenge you guys at home: design your your plate, put your own identity in it. As an artist, right? You gotta yeah. make it your own. I seared some lemons there. Uh, we have our asparagus, broccolini, our nice chimichurri on, on top of the wonderful, wonderful seared skirt steak. So. We're going to have Abby try this out, and we'll be right back. We have Abby. She's going to try it out. Abby, oh, yeah. make sure you give us a thumbs up, okay? Mm. We got a thumbs up, you guys. Thank nice. you, Abby, for coming so on the good. show. You gotta give me some. There you go. And uh, we'll just thank you for coming on the show again. And Happy to be here. And we're here to support you. And anything you do, you guys do at 6th Street, next door, whatever you guys do, you can always count on us. So you're not part of our family now. So you're part of the Neon in the Neon family, so Such we're gonna get privilege. together. Thank you, thank you again. Awesome. Thank you. Happy Wish to be you here. luck on everything you do. My name is Chef Mark Stigover, you guys. We have episode 15 in the books. Tony, thank you. How Mark. You? Yes. 2022, people to watch. Yes, Check yes. your GMH Today magazine. <laughs> yes, today. you did. Get your magazine, GMH Today, you guys. Uh, yours truly is on there, but a bunch of other great people. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Wow.